What is up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Aquarius for November 15th to the 20th of November 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, Aquarius, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, so let's get right into the reading. We got the Eight of Wands, <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Um, and the clarity was the Five of Pentacles and the Strength card. So breaking this right down, we got the Nine of Pentacles representing... <laughs> God damn it, I can't do this. <laughs> Intermission, folks. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles represents a situation. Actually, this did not come out first. It was the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands represents something happening very, very quickly. Um, the Eight of Wands is the fastest moving card in the deck. And it does represent something accumulating. And it represents something coming over air by messages. It represents something happening very fast. Um, so you could be receiving notification of something um, or messages over air. Over, I really feel like instead of actually messages, it could be like that for some of you. But I feel like for a lot of you, it is going to be... <laughs> God damn it, Jelly. It is going to be... Um, more of a mental state of being alone. So what I specifically think is happening here in this situation, motherfucker, what I specifically think is happening here in this situation is I think that you were pushed to a time where you thought that you could be alone and you were trying to better yourself with this because you understand that you are, I feel like you are heavily dependent on other people and I feel like it's a problem that you suffer with greatly because we have strength here um i feel like you know that you need to give yourself your own supply of happiness and that you can't allow other people to give it to you because it, if you just keep depending on other people you're never going to be happy by yourself and you'll always be self-dependent on others um so i definitely feel like there's a dependency here even though we have somebody that is showing up like this what i feel like is happening is i feel like you are trying to do this i feel like you're trying to be okay alone i feel like you are trying to be your own self-independence I don't need no man. I have friends. I have my own energy. I have good things. I have a job. I have. I can be self-sufficient, but I think that you are a very lonely person, and I feel like it is going to feel like a very large defeat. I feel like it's going to be... Um, <clears throat> it's. This is an ending card. It does represent ending. It represents betrayals. Overall, I feel like you could also sometimes, sometimes, don't take this the wrong way, it can sometimes be the card of somebody that is being overdramatic about a situation. However, I really feel that this is a real pain for you. I feel like um, even maybe to others, if it isn't as big to them, you still feel it like this. I feel like you are afraid to be alone. I feel like being alone is this disgusting, painful, gut-wrenching feeling to you, and you really don't want to have to do it alone, but you know that you have to, or else you're never going to get past this, and you're going to keep facing this day in and day out. I'm going through the same thing, so I'm preaching to the choir here, but I know what I'm talking about. Um, the reason why the Ten of Swords came out is because being left out in the cold, somebody might have left you out in the cold, or you might just be depressed about this situation because you don't want to be alone, but you know that you can't. It's going to be a self-repeating um, cycle. And I asked, why is the Five of Pentacles here? And we got strength. So when I get strength for something that's going in your negative, it's basically saying um, the reason why you are having this hardship is because you are not... It's not that you're not doing your shadow work. It represents that you have been doing your shadow work and you're having a bad period of time um, where you are having a hard time facing down these demons. And specifically, it's going to be very much about your own self-prosperity without other people and um, opinions and their support. But I, I really see this more as an emotional thing uh, as opposed to being actually left out in the cold. Um, because even though that's possible for some of you that that might be the situation. I really think that for the large majority of you, it's going to be a mental mindset that is going to be making you feel left out in the cold and that you're not actually going to be impoverished. I think you're going to be mentally impoverished. And I think that this is a mentally depressing um, state. Uh, it could also be seasonal depression since we're going into the winter time here in the United States. Um, but for the main thing about this is I feel like you were trying to be alone 
um, you were trying to push yourself to those goals, you found out how fucking horrific it feels, um, like, this might be your first try around, this might be your first go at it, the thing with this is, um, just because we have setbacks, um, this is how things work, so you take five steps forward, and then you take, like, ten steps back, and then you gotta keep going, and you gotta keep going, and you're gonna keep getting pushed down in this, it's gonna keep happening over and over and over again, um, the thing is, if you keep if you don't get back up when these things happen, you are going to regress. Um, so always keep pushing even though it is hard. You can use your strength in your, uh, what is represented here as strength, as fighting your own inner demons. You can get to a period where your demons will actually start working for you. And saying that you have that ability here, and I'm sure that you have been living it, this is basically just to me saying that... Um, I feel like you're going through a first wave of real depression, um, of I'm getting the energy of somebody that is realizing that, oh my god, I don't want to do this, I don't want to be alone, um, but it is, I, let me pull for where this goes, um, in the future, with this progress, for this Aquarian star sign, um, where does this go? The Two of Swords in the reverse represents not making a stalemate decision. It represents... Um, actually, what can I have a card for why the Two of Swords is in the reverse? The Six of Cups. I don't think that you are over a situation that ended with a person. I think that this is going to be a spread of... Um, it, for some of you now, it is possible with the Six of Cups here and the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords represents not making a decision that you need to make. I feel like you are ignoring that decision because somebody came in. Oh, okay, so now this has an extra flavor to this. I feel like a lot of you are going... A large part of why this reading exists is because there is somebody else in the picture, and I feel like you are trying to make the choice of going back to them or continue being alone, and I feel like what the pain is to you is that you have found out that you don't want to be alone, and I feel like you are going to revert to a period of time where you're if you're trying to decide if you want your ex back or not. It doesn't even have to be an ex. It can be anybody um, that is making you feel this way. You don't have to necessarily be committed in a romantic relationship to them. It can be anybody. Most of the time it is a relationship, so that's why I'm suggesting that more heavily. Where does this go between Aquarius and this person after all is said and done at the end of the day? Where does it go? So I do see leaving from this situation. I don't think that this is something fruitful, and I think that if this is a breakup situation for a lar large part of you, portion of you Aquarians, it is going to be like that. Um, I feel like it is just getting out of a relationship thinking, oh my god, I can do this, I can be good alone, then woof, oh my god, I want this person back, I really just want to be back with them, I don't want to have to go through this alone, I don't have the strength, I need this other person, I don't want to make this choice. Um, but I do see you actually moving forward without them. Um, so I, I, I definitely feel like if you have the feeling that I need to be alone, I can do this, um, and then you want to get back together with them, I think that it is for reasons other than love, and I'm sorry, but I, that's what happens with me, so that it, is, it doesn't mean that it's going to be everybody's story, um, but I do specifically think for this case it is going to be because more so you don't want to be alone and you're dependent on other people's um, approval of you rather than it is the actual person. I think that your energy is best invested somewhere else, which is where the Six of Swords is going to take you, Aquarius. I love you. I wish you all the best healing during this time. I love you. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe. Good luck.